this video, I'm going to show you how to make your audiovisual essay in iMovie 09. What I show you will look similar to iMovie 08 with a few adjustments, but earlier versions of iMovie look pretty different, so I'll have to give you other resources for that. Uh, I'm going to show you the steps in the order I recommend you follow just because it will help you um, avoid some common problems that can come up if you do those steps in a different order. This video, I'm going to show you how to create a project, um, insert photos, add your audio, and put title cards um, and credits. Then I'll make a second video to cover transitions, photo effects, and how to export your file. So the first step is to create a new project after you launch iMovie. So if you go up here to the file menu and choose new project. You will get the option to give it a name, so whatever would be appropriate. Leave the option set at widescreen, the theme at none, and do not check the box next to automatically add transitions, and then click create. I'm going to click cancel because I've already created a demo. And then here you have the basic win um, editing window for iMovie. On the upper left is where you can drag your pictures and audio. Upper right is where you can view your work in progress. Lower right is where you can access iTunes, iPhoto, and GarageBand. And then you don't need to worry about what's on the lower left. So the next step is to add pictures. To add pictures, you've got two options. You could get them from your iPhoto if you've already put them into iPhoto, um, or you could get them from your hard drive. So to get them from iPhoto, you would come down here to the to these um, toolbar options here and pick the one that's got the camera on it. So that's for photos. And that gives you access to your iPhoto folder. So then you can look through and if you have things stored in folders and subfolders, you can look for the location of the pictures. Um, I made a folder ca called Photos for iMovie Demo. So I, I'm going to want to use all of these pictures. I could just select one or um, select several by holding down the command key, but I'm going to drag um, across all of them. And then I'll click on one and drag it up here to the timeline, and it will get automatically inserted with some default settings that will change later. The other way to get pictures um, into your project timeline is to get them from your hard drive. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop where I've created a folder that has some pictures in it. You'll see that these pictures end in .jpg. So that's what uh, your pictures should, um, if they're not in iPhoto, then they should end in .jpg or .png so that iMovie knows what to do with them. I'm going to select all of them and then drag them into iMovie. And I'll let iMovie uh, do its thing. Now I immediately notice that I have a couple duplicates, so I'm just going to select this picture and hit delete. And then I think this is a duplicate, so I'll um, hit delete. So there we go. We've got a bunch of photos in here. You might have way more than I'm showing here. But the, um, the next step is actually not to fiddle with the photos, as tempting as that is, but to add your audio recording. However, before you do that, you need to make the photo, or at least one photo, display for the full length of time that your audio recording lasts. Um, if you put the audio recording in here now, and there's only about um, one minute's worth of pictures showing, I can tell that by the little one um, up here, um, then only one minute of your audio recording would actually um, be imported. So since you obviously want to have the whole thing, we're going to make at least one of these pictures last for um, maybe eight minutes. So to do that, I'm going to click this drop down here and go to clip adjustments. And then here I get to control the time that it, the picture displays. Um, I'm going to say, um, well, if you're, say, 10 minutes, maybe. So um, that would be 600 seconds. I'll click Done. And now you can see that this one picture now is, um, would be on the screen for quite a bit longer than the other pictures. And that way, when I drag the audio in, it will have plenty of um, room to kind of spread out. Um, two ways to add audio. One way is similar to the way you put um, photos in from your desktop, would be to simply take the, an MP3 file from your desktop and drag it in. So if you've created your audio essay um, in an MP3 
format. Maybe you did that in GarageBand or some other program. You could locate it. Um, I have a sample here that I made and then drag it in. Um, I'm going to place it at the beginning. Uh, sometimes when you drag a, a movie, I mean a, an audio clip in, you'll see that the whole background turns green. Um, and in that case, you don't want to let go of the clip because you don't want it to actually be background music. So um, in this case, I don't see the back green background, um, but I do see the green plus sign. So I'm just going to let go of the mouse um, button. And then there's my audio. It's um, now showing up. Um, it, it actually only, my audio sample only goes this far. It's about two and a half minutes. Um, so there's more image than I need. But um, if your audio is like 10 minutes, then it'll sort of fill that, um, fill that up. So um, the other way to add audio would be to get it from directly from GarageBand. And that will be a little bit better quality because it won't have been compressed. So um, I'll show you how to do that. We'll first delete the MP3 I dragged in by clicking on it. Um, it gets highlighted in yellow. Hit the delete key. And then I'm going to come over here back to the media browser and click on the music button. You can see that you have access to iTunes and sound effects and so forth. But um, um, click on um, GarageBand and then my sample just started playing there. You can test out any of your samples, see if they're what you um, had meant to include. And pick one, uh, the right one. You can tell if they're available to go into iMovie if the guitar icon shows up. If you see some other kind of icon here, it probably won't go um, into iMovie and I'll have instructions about uh, what to do about that somewhere else. So here's the sample I made and I'm going to click on it, drag it up here. And again, this might have turned the background green, but um, thankfully it didn't. So um, I'm going to bring it to the beginning and drop it. And then it, it creates, again, like a ribbon like the other one um, did. This ribbon's a little longer, I think. Um, so now the audio's in there, and that gives you an idea of um, sort of the range of pictures that you're going to want sh to show and how long they need to show um, in order to match with your audio. So that's um, the way to add your audio. The next step is adding title cards and credits. So this is a way to give an um, opening page to your project as well as um, possibly pages for any kind of subheaders or subsections that you have um, and a closing page. And so um, we do that now, do all this now before you adjust how long the images display. So I'm um, going to come back over here to the media browser and click on this T which shows you um, the available title cards. There's um, your standard kind of um, centered title here and then there's a bunch of other options that you can um, check out. As you put your mouse over some of them you see that some of them um, zoom in or out or have kind of interesting sideways effects and um, just do various things and, and so forth. So we'll pick this um, maybe this horizontal blur. Let's try that. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to grab it and pull it up to the beginning. Um, you can see that right now it's covering a picture, um, making the picture blue. Well, I don't want it to actually cover the picture. You could have the um, title card actually cover a picture um, with the picture as the background. But I'm going to pu uh, pull it so it's in front of the picture and where there's a green vertical line, drop it. And then I get a choice of backgrounds, um, some of which are remarkably ugly. So I'll just pick oh, this one. Then you can see here that you have the ability to um, type your title text here. Um, so you just type your um, text. You've got a lot of options with different, you can choose different fonts and colors and so forth. You can change the size. I'm just going to make my name smaller by, a select, by selecting it and then using command minus will make it smaller. That works in pretty much any program. And then say done. So if you're curious to see how that's going to look, um, you can put your cursor at the beginning of it and press space and then you see what that zoom effect look like um, and there it goes zooming again. So later we can adjust how long the title card shows up because maybe that went by too fast but um, for now at least we got it in there. You could do the same sort of thing to create subsections um, if that seems appropriate um, to your topic. So maybe I'll try this title card to show you how you might make a subsection just for the you would probably want to keep the same background throughout just for consistency, but 
I'll pick a different one here. Um, let's see. So maybe this is the part of your essay where you're about to start talking about going um, how things changed for you after you went off to college. So that's how that um, looks. You can see. Sorry, you can hear the audio in the background there. But um, there you can kind of see what that effect looks like. Um, and again, we'll worry about the, the length of time that it displays later. And at the very end, you might want to add um, another title card with some um, general information about your, you know, your project, the who, the who um, helped you make it, um, photo credits, music credits, um, citations, resources, anything like that. Um, I'm going to use the scrolling credits card, drag that up there, um, and then again choose just a different background just so you see a different one. But you could use several. I mean, you can add several title cards here um, and try different things. So this would be, you know, a good place to um, give credit to the any music that you use. Um, so I'm just typing in um, the title of a song, and it's by the Indigo Girls. It's too small, so I'm going to use Command Plus to make it big. It's also funny alignment. Um, so I'm going to select it and go up to the text menu and choose alignment center. So, um, and then I mean, if you wanted to add um, something else, um, you could do that and you know make that bigger and so forth. And then um, this button here will help show you what the credit will play like. So I'm going to click that so you see how it scrolls. Um, and that's how that works. And you can adjust how long um, that displays, which will control how fast that the scrolling goes. So that's it for the first part of how to make an audiovisual essay in iMovie. The next part will pick up from here.